guys to dromedary behind the hump um, today it'll be a very interesting new addition um, because we're going to show you how we wean camels so weaning means that the babies eventually they get too big so we milk our camels about one and a half to two years but then they're certainly very big and we um, you know start drying off the mums so the mums can go back to their bull uh, and get pregnant again and have a new baby and the babies will start growing up and uh, you know then hopefully um, become milkers or breeding breeding bulls themselves see I'm here with some of the mums that we're going to start weaning off this season and you can already see that some camels will actually um, kick away their babies by that time so basically they start weaning their babies themselves so in nature after 12 months sometimes even 8 to 12 months uh, the babies would be weaned naturally and so you know one and a half to two years is quite a long time for a camel to milk and usually then the production would go down as well so that's the reason that's what we're going to show you in this episode so please stay tuned and if you haven't done so subscribe to this channel and um, where we bring you all the background of and the things that we do here at dromedary on a day-to-day -day basis so now we get the next cow in she's already waiting and see what happens with her so again we clean the udder but i can already feel that udder is sort of going downhill as well so Got Aya putting on the baby now. And they should usually start drinking. This one just walks straight past the camel, straight past the mum. Not really interested as well. Here we go. And let's see what happens. See, mum starts kicking now, which is unusual. So usually the mum would just suckle, now it's sort of pushing that baby away, it doesn't want it anymore. Baby is trying. And then sort of giving up anyway. So that's what it is, so obviously from us, from a milking point of view, it's not very good to have camels just running through the dairy not milking. So another reason why we have to wean them now. So today another morning milking, but now we've separated the babies like normal for the night. So, and they're all lined up as usual. But now because we started that weaning process, we keep them in that little holding area here. And just, so the mum is already in the race now, we just leave the mum inside the race. And I'll, I will try to manually stimulate the udder and see if we get some milk out. If not, it doesn't matter because they drying off now within seven to 10 days anyways. So that's how we gently wean them. And later on, I'll show you when we get them outside to the paddock, we um, put the mums alongside to the babies on a different paddock. So they're still near each other, you know, uh, happy days basically, but they just don't uh, they're not able to get to the mum to drink anymore. Which, uh, as I was shown yesterday, they don't really want to do that any, uh, anyways anymore. So here we've got now one camel that is even letting down without the baby, which is good. So we milk and take take the pressure off uh, of the udder, and then um, she'll dry off anyway. So we ran this group through the race now. They're happily following along. Hello girls, no babies. Huh? You're on maternity leave? No, you can't say that. Uh, it's sort of long service leave. There you go. You coming as well? Okay, she's always the slowest. Nice and relaxed. The mums are out now and now we go and get the babies next to next to the mums on a different paddock. So boys and girls, you excited? Mm. 
Go. Yeah, okay, we're giving it a go. Hopefully they don't break the fence. Straight on. Straight on, boys. Oh, up, 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 up. Yep, that worked. Don't break the fence, buddy. Oh, are you closer? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. We've got hay in this paddock as well. Hey, hey. Come on, Brownie. Come on. I'm still getting used to the idea now. I'll just walk up with a bit of hay. Come on, boys. There's a fence now. You want some hay? Come on. Oops. Brownie. Yeah. There you go. Just to take your mind off some things. Very good. See, the mums are right there. And baby is still freaking out a bit. I mean, that's pretty normal, you know, they just have to get used to the idea that there's a fence, but as I say, they're just right next to each other now. I'll just move the rest of the hay there as well. Here we go. That worked. And so the other group didn't quite work. They actually broke through the gate, but it was more my error. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a bit hard to get into that other paddock. So uh, next day after we separated the babies, the mums are running through the race without babies, quite all right. And today we're gonna let that group back into the yard so the um, babies won't break the fence again because they, they actually uh, just ran through the gate yesterday so I had to fix all that. Um, the other group did it quite well. But so now we leave mums and babies together later on. Leo is trying there, he's just, because there's no calf, just uh, trying to get a letdown manually. And the reason why we do it, they dry off anyways in the next few days, but we just do it to release some of the pressure and to avoid uh, an infection like mastitis. So some let down, some don't. If they don't, that's, that's okay. If they do, we milk them and then it'll, it'll end anyways in the next few days. They just, they will all dry off eventually. Yeah, the calves, they're playing off a little bit because they're not in their usual position. Usually they would be closer to their mum, but we left them back there so they don't freak out too much. Um, and as I said, we'll, once the mums ran through, um, we'll put the mums right next to them so they're you know, all nice and comfortable. So it's just one more to go here now. And then there's one more group without babies. We finished milking now. And as I said earlier, we put the uh, one group that didn't work too well yesterday, they're in the yard here now, eating hay. And the uh, uh, babies are on the other side, they've got their own hay. And we now gonna feed some more hay out to the other group. Uh, that actually went outside yesterday, but what I saw when I got them inside is um, one of the babies was suckling through the fence. And so now we leave that group in the yards as well um, so, so they don't suckle through the fence. Okay, so you can see we put some hay out there right next to the yard. And I'm gonna put this hay over to that side so the babies can just eat it here close to their parents. And I'll let these guys out now. Okay, boys and girls, we'll let you into here. Oh, hello. Oh, gosh. Here they come. And that group is actually pretty good. They don't seem to care too much. And so they can eat here. 
and they can't suckle through that mesh fence and the mumps are just on the other side now so it's uh, in the evening now everything went well that group is happily eating now the calves didn't smash the fence they're waiting for hay now Leo is just bringing some hay into the yards so and these mums are also happily waiting on that side so we're just prepping the yards now and then we bring the big ones in there you go enough I had some pellets before as well now the rest is this group is for the for the big ones starting to rain they're all excited just open the gate here let them come in around it's a new paddock so I don't even know where to go there you go always at lucky last that's Laura come on girl and that's them that's the magic that fruit can do they're quiet Babies are quiet, that group is quiet and those babies in the back are just getting their feet now as well and will be quiet soon as well hopefully. As that's how we wean camels here, um, these mums will dry off and we'll probably capture some of that and loading them up later on what we do in one of our next episode. And I hope you enjoyed it, if yes give us the uh, thumbs up sign or you know, if not, write us a comment and let us know what you didn't like. Uh, you know, I'm trying to cover every topic we do here on the farm. So, and not just on the farm, but, you know, in general. I'm just closing that gate here. Um, yeah, let us know if you have enjoyed it. And please subscribe and let everyone know so you don't miss another episode of Dromedary Behind the Hump. Until then, have a great day.